Good day, everyone. So today, we will be presenting Polya's four-step problem-solving method. The group members are Johnson John Paul Ezekiel, yours truly, Magalona Yuri, Cruz Howley Kirk, Maramara Jade Matthew, Mantala Jan Francis, and Medio Dia Michael. First of all, who is Polya? George Polya was a teacher and a mathematician and the one who published the book titled How to Solve It, explaining how to become a better problem solver. Here are Polya's four steps in solving a problem. First is to understand the problem. Second is to devise a plan. Third one is to carry out the plan. And the fourth one is to review the solution. Tip, diagnose the situation so that your focus is on the problem, not just its symptoms. The first step is to understand the problem. Figure out what is being asked, what is known, what is not known, what type of answer is required. Is the problem similar to other problems you've seen? Are there any important terms for which you should look up definitions? Second one is to devise a plan. Come up with some strategies for solving the problem. Common strategies include making a list, drawing a picture, eliminating possibilities, using a formula, guessing and checking, and solving a simpler related problem. The next slide will be presented by Mr. Mediodia. Carry out the plan. Use the strategy chosen in step two to solve the problem. If you encounter difficulties using the strategy, you may want to use resources such as the textbook to help. If the strategy itself appears not to be working, return to step and select a deeper strategy. Next like this. Revise a solution. Part of step one is to find a way to check your answer, preferably using a different method than what you need to solve the problem. Another part of step one is to evaluate the method you use to solve the problem. Was it effective? Are there ways you should have are there ways you could have made it more effective? Are there other types of the problems with which you might be able to use this type of solution method? The next slide is the example problem number one. Jerry is seven years older than John. In three years, we'll be twice as old as John. Find their present ages. So first one, understand the problem. The problem is all about identifying the current ages of John and Jerry. And Jerry will be twice as old as John in three years. So for the second one, devise a plan. John's current age is represented as J and Jerry's current age represented as J plus 7 since Jerry is 7 years older than John. Carry out the plan. First, you need to simplify both sides of the equation. So 7 plus 3 is 10 and 2 multiplied by J is 2J and 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Next, you need to isolate the variable j on one side of the equation and then subtract j from both sides. So it will amount to 10 is equals to j plus 6. And then you need to subtract 6 from both sides. So it will be 4 is equals to j. So John's current age is 4 and Jerry's age will be 4 plus 7. So his age will be 11. So in three years, John's age will be seven and Jerry is, Jerry's age will be 14. This shows that Jerry's age will be twice as much than John. Here is the problem number two. Tonyo and Mao left at 8 a.m. from the same point. Tonyo is traveling at is at an average speed of 50 miles per hour and Mao is traveling south at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. At what time to the nearest minute would they be at 300 miles apart? First, to understand the problem, we need to find the time when they are 300 miles apart. Second, devise a plan. Let T represent time in hours. We need to use the distance formula which is the square root of x2 minus x1 
raised to 2 plus y2 minus y1 raised to 2. Carry out the plan. So let x1 and y1 be Tonyo's coordinates. x1 is distance travel east and y1 is distance travel south. So Tonyo's coordinates, it will be x1 is equal to 50t and y1 is equal to 0. Most coordinates will be x2 is equal to 0 and y2 is equal to 60t. So let's use the formula. Distance is equal to square, square root of 50, 50t minus 0 raised to 2 plus 0 minus 60t raised to 2. So 50 raised to 2, it will become 2, 5 squared. And 60 raised to 2, it will be 3, 6 squared. So the distance is 300 since it says that 300 miles apart. And 300 is equal to square root of 61t squared. So we need to solve for t. t squared is equal to 300 raised to 2 over 61. So 300 raised to 2, it will become 90,000. And divided, divided by 61, it will become 14.75. So t squared is equal to square root of 14.75. It will become 3.84 hours. So we need to convert the decimal to minutes. And the, the solution is 0 0.84 times 60. The answer is 50.4 minutes. So the, the, time, the, the time will be 3 hours and 50 minutes apart. If they both left at 8 a.m. at the same point, they will be 300 miles apart around 11.50 a.m. And those are the two problems, example problems, given to us. Here are the references for this presentation. That's all. Thank you for listening.